Hi. Interestingly, I feel that we are already entering the winter retreat of the Tibetan Book of the Dead, because you are touching on this, uh, this imagery of the, of the Tibetan Book of the Dead. I, first of all, I don't see the uh, discrepancy between the two, uh, the two descriptions, because, uh, because this makes a lot of sense. We are uh, in the, at least in the Tibetan Book of the Dead, there is a description of how, of how one can be guided in this, uh, in this part. By the way, it's, it's, not, it's not even lost for those who have not prepared themselves at all during lifetime or not sufficiently, because they can still be guided in a certain way in, in this kind of, of, of in-between state. And that is why it is considered worthwhile to, to keep, keep guiding even, even the person that, that, they, that they seemingly died. So the most important moment, if we are able to, to, to seize that moment, is, is the moment when we, are, uh, when we are still conscious, but we are just departing. The, this, is when, this is when we can really uh, uh, dramatically change the direction of our, of our, um, um, of where our consciousness uh, is heading. So, first of all, I, I think just just to to connect uh, this question uh, to 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 this satsang, to this specific satsang. Well, what does it mean to prepare? What does it mean to prepare myself? Preparing myself means to be able to fully renounce, fully renounce the world, fully renounce the self, fully renounce my, my, uh, all, all my attachments to the, to, the, to, the, to the illusion of a fixed reality, of a permanent, solid, self-existent reality. If I'm able to do that and to choose instead following the light of consciousness, then I have matured as a soul. So there is no discrepancy between these two, uh, two descriptions. One is, tells us that, yes, there can, for in near-death experience, there is a certain, a certain process of of being guided, being able to, uh, having the opportunity to reflect on our, uh, on our previous past, uh, our previous lifetime. And preparing for our next birth. This, is, this also appears in many of the descriptions, but, but most of them are just, are just too brief and they, and they don't reach that far. And especially because, well, that person is not destined to, to go that far and the report ends in a, in, in a particular moment, in a very specific moment. This means that, that we don't have the full picture of what happens afterwards. So, yes, first of all, there is also in Buddhism, there is the moment of death and then there is a glimpse. That's what happens to us after death. First of all, there is a glimpse. What is a glimpse? It means that even if you were not prepared for it, even if you haven't meditated enough, you, you will still have this kind of chance to get in touch with, with, with the light. But if you are unable to, to, maintain, to sustain it, if you are still in a dualistic relationship with it, you will have to separate from it sometimes quite quickly and quite painfully, and need to, to retain this, this sense of dualistic journey, continuing to reflect on your previous learnings, 
and to prepare for your next earnings. So there is a certain level of, of consciousness that is retained. But the level of consciousness that is retained and the level of choice of being of no, and of knowing what is happening to us, not being surprised by it, depends on our preparation. <laughs>